approximately one in three, more than 100 million, American adults have high blood pressure. But only half of those people have their condition under control. Many people develop high blood pressure when they are in their late 30s or early 40s, and it occurs more frequently as people age. However, because of the obesity epidemic, more and more children are also developing high blood pressure. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to True Health for Life. Today, we have an important topic to discuss. Managing blood pressure naturally. High blood pressure affects millions worldwide, and it's crucial to explore safe and effective ways to bring those numbers down. In this video, we'll delve into the world of supplements and uncover five researched options that have shown promise in lowering blood pressure. But as always, before making any changes to your health regimen, consult with your healthcare provider. Now, let's get started. Blood pressure is the force of blood against the walls of the arteries. High blood pressure, or hypertension, can lead to serious health issues, including heart disease and stroke. Now, let's explore some natural supplements that may help in managing this condition. Number one, fish oil omega-3. Fatty acids. Our first contender is fish oil, rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Research has consistently shown that these fatty acids have a positive impact on blood pressure. The omega-3s in fish oil help dilate blood vessels, reduce inflammation, and improve overall cardiovascular health. Fish and other seafood contain fish oil. The amount of omega-3 can vary depending on the type of fish. Cold water fatty fish contain high amounts of omega-3. These fish include a salmon mackerel, tuna, herring, and sardinus. The American Heart Association, AHA, recommends taking prescription omega-3 to help lower very high triglycerides greater than or equal to 500 milligrams per deciliter. But did you know that fish oil may have other health benefits? This includes lowering the risk of death from heart disease for people who eat seafood at least once a week, a moderate reduction in risk of an ischemic stroke, and relief from rheumatoid arthritis symptoms for people taking fish oil supplements. But still, a person with high cholesterol or blood pressure should speak with a doctor before they begin taking supplements or changing their diet. Number 2. Coenzyme Q10, or CoQ10. This powerful antioxidant is naturally produced by the body and plays a crucial role in energy production within cells. Studies suggest that CoQ10 supplementation may help lower blood pressure by improving endothelial function and reducing oxidative stress. It also acts as an antioxidant, which protects cells from damage and plays an important part in your metabolism. While many people's bodies make all the CoQ10 they need, some don't. The whole body content is between 500 and 1,500 milligrams, and it decreases with age. So where could we get CoQ10? Organ meats. Animal organ meats have the highest amounts of CoQ10 per 100 grams. Fatty fish such as trout, salmon, mackerel, and sardines contain CoQ10. Vegetables. Along with many vitamins and minerals, a lot of vegetables contain CoQ10. Vegetables. Along with many vitamins and minerals, a lot of vegetables contain CoQ10. Also, don't forget meat, nuts, and seeds. Like any other supplements, CoQ10 has side effect warnings. Most side effects of CoQ10 are mild. They include digestive problems, loss of appetite, abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea, and heartburn. More serious risks are possible. So don't take CoQ10 supplements without talking to your doctor first. Number 3. Garlic. Not just a kitchen staple, but also a potential blood pressure ally. Allicin, a compound found in garlic, has been associated with blood pressure lowering effects. It may enhance nitric oxide production, relaxing blood vessels, and improving blood flow. While adding fresh garlic to your diet is beneficial, garlic supplements standardized for illicit content are also available. But the research into garlic and blood pressure is unfortunately very limited. Most studies are small, and some are poorly designed. This makes it difficult for health officials to recommend garlic as a treatment for high blood pressure. Garlic in food eaten in normal amounts is probably safe for most people. There is very little data about the safety of taking large amounts of garlic supplements though. High doses may produce side effects, such as upset stomach, heartburn, nausea, diarrhea, and increased risk of bleeding. Garlic supplements may also interfere with certain drugs and other supplements. 
People who are pregnant, nursing, or have a bleeding disorder shouldn't take garlic supplements. Garlic can be a healthy part of your diet, but it should not be used as a substitute for medical care. If you have hypertension, talk to your healthcare provider about your treatment options. Number four, magnesium. This essential mineral is involved in over 300 biochemical reactions in the body, including those related to blood pressure regulation. Research suggests that magnesium helps relax blood vessels and may have a modest but positive impact on blood pressure. Just like potassium, too much magnesium can be lost in urine due to diuretic use, leading to low magnesium levels. The National Institutes of Health NIH, reports that most older adults in the US don't get the proper amount of magnesium in their diets, although extreme magnesium deficiency is very rare. It's best to get the mineral from food, especially dark, leafy green vegetables, unrefined grains, and legumes. Dietary sources include leafy greens, nuts, seeds, and whole grains, but supplements can provide a convenient boost. Too much magnesium from a supplement or from magnesium-containing drugs such as laxatives may cause diarrhea. There are no known adverse effects of magnesium intake from food. Number 5. Hibiscus Tea This vibrant floral beverage has gained attention for its potential blood pressure-lowering effects. Studies have indicated that compounds in hibiscus may act as natural ACE inhibitors, promoting vasodilation. Enjoying a cup of hibiscus tea regularly can be a delightful addition to your blood pressure management strategy. Hibiscus holds an honored place in some Hindu rituals, and some cultures consider it a medicinal plant. In early research, scientists have found some evidence to support its health benefits. The flowers, leaves, and seeds of the hibiscus are all edible. Most commonly, people use the leaf-like part of the flower that protects the bud as it grows, known as the calyx. The amount of nutrients in hibiscus depends on which part of the plant is being used, the growing conditions, how it's prepared, and other variables. Some studies show that drinking hibiscus tea may help reduce systolic blood pressure levels when compared to a placebo. Other studies show that it may help to reduce both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. However, if you take a medication for high blood pressure, check with your doctor before drinking hibiscus tea. It can have negative interactions. Those were the five supplements that may help you in your journey to lower blood pressure naturally. Remember, these supplements are not a substitute for a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, and stress management. If you're considering incorporating any of these supplements into your routine, consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Until next time, take care of your heart and stay healthy.